Well, welcome back to Morning Break. The Superfine Art Fair has made art accessible and affordable in some of the biggest cities in the United States, and this week it arrives in Savannah for the first time. Alex Mito has had his eye on the hostess city since launching the travel collection of national and regional artwork about eight years ago. Superfine CEO and co-founder is with us this morning with details on an event that will be at the Clyde venue uh, beginning tomorrow. It's going to run through Sunday. Good morning to you. Good morning, Tim. Thank uh, you for having me I, here. I would say welcome to Savannah, but you are quite familiar with our city. I am familiar with Savannah. <laughs> I'm happy to be back here. It's beautiful right now. Yeah. Great weather this week, too. But, but great getting this great event here that uh, you've wanted to bring to Savannah for a while. Yeah, we've, we've thought about it for a long time. Savannah, to me, is like the quintessential art city of the Southeast. I mean, you have SCAD, you have all the artists, creativity here. Uh, we've wanted to bring the fair here probably close to since we began in 2015, 2016. So we're excited to be here um, with you guys this weekend. And, and the whole idea is to get people in touch with, in a p place with, great artwork that yep. they can you know, really get their hands on at some point. Absolutely, and that, that's what, that was the foundation of Superfine from the beginning, was we saw artists with amazing work, and we saw people who wanted to take art home, but it was hard for them to feel comfortable actually buying it or considering themselves collectors. So we want to kind of reestablish what it means to be an art collector, and also give independent artists the opportunity to sell their art directly to buyers. Right. And you discovered the Clyde venue, uh, which yep. is a great location. It's going to give you the opportunity to have events all the way through the show. Yep, absolutely. So we have an opening night event Thursday, which is tomorrow. Uh, we have an artist called Pam White from South Carolina is going to be doing live and caustic work. So basically melting wax over paintings behind the venue in the outdoor garden. Um, we have food by a restaurant called Folklore that's downtown, really cool up and coming restaurant. Um, and we've got a, it's going to be really nice. It's going to be a fun opening night. Um, you know, I'll be dressed up. I'll be there. Got my cowboy hat on. So. Cowboy yeah. hat. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so multimedia art, yep. um, all paintings, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, all kinds of things. Uh, paintings, photography, uh, sculpture, and then we've got some unique installations. Uh, we commissioned an installation by Ben Copperwheat, who's a professor of fiber arts at SCAD. Uh, who's doing this really bright rainbow technicolor uh, three-dimensional piece when you first walk into the show. It's going to be really neat. Uh, we've got another fiber installation by a Miami artist, Corel Levy, we've worked with for many, many years. Um, it's going to be a really neat show. There's a lot of art to take home. There's a lot of good moments to experience yeah. when you're actually at the fair as well. And uh, you do have a lot of local artists involved, but there are artists from all across the country and the region here as well. Absolutely. And that's kind of the cool thing about Superfine. And I get asked that question a lot. Like, is it a local art fair? Are you bringing people in from all over the world? And the answer is kind of 50-50. Um, we sort of naturally attract artists from the geographic area, which is cool. So you'll see your friends, you'll see people that you know, but you'll also see artists from New York, from Seattle, from Miami, um, and some of the artists who've been in our fairs numerous times. Mm -hmm. So they know the drill, they know, you know how to put on a good show, and you kind of get to see them together in one space. So mm -hmm. it's very cool. And of course, people can buy artwork here, and you know we say accessible and affordable. You have pieces starting at fifty dollars, and yep. ninety percent of the art is between a hundred and five thousand. Absolutely. So that's what we consider accessible. So right. you can walk in, you can be like you know a college student, post grad, young couple, and you find a piece that's like you know a couple hundred dollars that you can afford, and then maybe over the years you decide, okay, I love this artist. I just you know, bought a home, I have this space on my wall above the couch or whatever, and I've got a few thousand dollars to spend. So right. we kind of run the gamut and we, we see most of the sales in that range as well. So uh, would you consider that an investment at this point? If you find a lo a, an artist that is, you know, maybe just coming out? You know, it's, it's an investment. It's an investment in your own happiness yeah. and your fulfillment in your home. I think the other thing is artists work is so scarce. They can only yeah. make so much in their lifetime. So when you own a piece, what you're doing is you're taking that piece off the market and no one ever will be able to have it again, including yourself, yeah. because it won't be available again. So it's an investment in that capacity. Yeah. Well, we are still in National Women's Month. One of the cool things, 75% yep. of the artists at this show will be women. Absolutely, yep. Um, we've always emphasized women, uh, artists of color, underrepresented artists, and they, it just our model it just works better and easier for artists to sell their work directly without the barriers that the traditional art world sometimes Enforces on Fantastic. artists. It yep. is the Superfine Art Fair coming up Thursday through Sunday at the Clyde venue. Let folks know how they can get tickets. Yep, just go to our website. It's www.superfine.world. There's a button on there for Savannah, or you go to www.superfine.world/slash Savannah. 
and it's all the tickets are Fantastic. on there, information, dates and times. We'll see you there. Excellent. We are going to get all that information at WTOC.com as well. Alex, thank you so much. Welcome to Savannah. Thank you for adding us to cities that include yep. San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York City. Uh, we are in some big company and, uh, yep. and rightfully so, but the reputation welcome. that we have. Thank Alex, you for having us here. Appreciate it. Cool. Thanks, Thanks, Tim. Well, coming up.